This tutorial will go through the basics of making maps that can then be applied to make textures and any of the various 3D applications. And it can be used universally with any rendering software including V-Ray or Mental Ray or really anything you use. Uh, before I open this, let me talk about where I got my my texture from. Uh, I get a lot of my textures from this site, CG Textures, and here you just have to sign up as a member and then you can go and download a certain quota of looks like 15 megabytes and I don't know how long of a period you have to download 15 megabytes but anyway it's usually sufficient um, so I'm gonna do a gravel material so I grabbed this one and you can see they're small medium or large so this is I grabbed this because it's not tileable and I'm gonna show how to make it tileable so remember cgtextures.com there's all sorts of good textures on there and another good place is to just do google image searches and I find a lot of things from there too. Uh, so let's open up that file and see how to make it into a tileable a tileable texture um, and there's probably other ways to do this too but this is the way I do it and it works fine for me. So first of all I usually make the canvas size bigger hit this arrow to make sure that it expands out in the proper direction and then I usually double it in both directions, make it relative to what it is, and just add another 1024 and 683. So it doubles in both directions. And then we want to kind of isolate the image part. And then I uh, control J. Oh, it looks like I got a little bit more than I wanted there. Uh, let's set this tolerance to. And there's definitely easier ways to do that, but oh well. Uh, Control J puts that part of the image on its own layer, just copied over itself. Um, and what I do here is hold down Alt, move it to the right, that copies it. Um, and then I'll usually just mirror it, flip it horizontally by, by right clicking. Um, flip horizontal, and that gives that makes it so that when I tile, this edge over here is going to be the exact is just going to be the mirror image of this edge over here, so they'll actually tile perfectly. It'll look kind of like like it does right in here, um, but it'll create these weird kind of mirrored images. So we want to clean that up a little bit. Um, so if you hold down Shift and move it over, it'll it'll stay in line. You can only move it straight up or at a 45 or straight over. Um, so what I'm going to do is move it over itself a little bit. And remember just the sides are what have to line, what have to remain mirror images. So we can change the middle um, and it's not going to mess up our tiling. So what we're going to do here is just um, go into this layer and just kind of erase some of these edges in here. And I'm doing it kind of sloppy because I don't have a lot of time, but but you can see that kind of breaks up that edge, so you can't tell where I copied it on top of itself. And now this side over here and this side over here will match, and the middle doesn't look all funny and mirrored. So if you hit uh, Control E, that will merge the the top layer with the one below it, and then we can take and go into the Move tool again which is V, right? Yeah. Which is V, and we can hold down Alt and move and, and copy that, that new chunk that we've got. We'll keep it lined up and do the same thing. Uh, hit Control T to, for transform and then right click. Flip vertically. That's just using the transform tool. Sorry, I'm using some shortcuts and not saying what they are, but kind of do it without even thinking about it. Um, okay, so so this basically the same thing here. You go in and you can quickly uh, oops, you want the eraser tool and just oops, need a little more overlap there, I guess. Eraser tool to kind of get rid of some of the 
the obvious mirroring in here. And that's obviously really sloppy. You could you could go in uh, <clears throat> rock by rock and and choose the the one that you want to show through. And you can see there's a little bit of mirroring going on there, which is weird. Um, but just for the purposes of this tutorial, we'll kind of leave it how it is. And uh, so we'll crop it down to where we want it to be. Um, now a couple other things you need to know about tiling and making tileable textures is uh, the filters. In filter, other, there's an important filter here called offset, which offsets it horizontally and vertically a certain amount of pixels. And that kind of gives you a preview of how it's going to tile when you get into your 3D application. And you can see there's some weird tiling going on here where all the mirror marks are. You can see yeah, there's a very obvious mirroring going on there. So now you can either come back in with the clone brush. And to use this, you hit Alt and pick a target area. And then wherever you paint, it's going to be grabbing a sample from that target area and painting it over wherever you paint now if you don't know how to use this clone tool. So it's it's grabbing from over here and kind of shifting that over this weird mir mirrored area. Um, and this this works pretty well. Uh, sometimes it gets it kind of makes some fuzzy areas that look funny. So sometimes it's cleaner to just keep doing what we had been doing. Selecting selecting areas, hitting control J, putting them on their own layer there. Just like that and then kind of moving it over the part that you don't like and then kind of uh, erasing out the edges to make it blend a little better just so there's no crisp edges that your eye catches and this texture is really easy to tile because it's so it's so broken up that your eye doesn't really catch all the imperfections that are that we're making here which is good control J move this on top of this weird mirrored part um, and we'll see we'll start getting a pretty nice image here and actually we can't put it on we can't put it right on the edge here because then it won't tile with this part over here so we want that to continue to tile so let's just keep it a little bit away from the edge and break up some of these edges again. And obviously if I was trying to make a high quality map, I'd take much more time in doing all this. But this will show you how it's tiled. Um, if you hit, let's see, well you can merge all, but if you just hit, go to the top and hit Control E, um, that'll merge everything together. And then let's, <coughs> let's do our offset one more time. And now we see no matter how we offset it, um, you don't really see any major seams there. And it's not the best, but but it's pretty good. Um, so that'll be it for this tutorial.